Hello vlog, good morning. Hello. We're just doing a chest PT. We're getting ready to do the sides and um, I think I'm starting to feel better. I went to bed last night with a very bad headache and um, I kept waking up a lot through the night and uh, thankfully this morning the headache um, started to go away late morning. So I am very happy about that. It's been on and off this morning. And um, late last night, I started being able to breathe better. So I'm very, 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 very thankful and happy and feeling blessed about being able to breathe. So that is amazing. Yeah. Truthfully, I've been having trouble last two weeks on and off being able to breathe. So, so far, I think I'm feeling yeah, my best right now. Deep breath yeah, possible. I could get a deep breath without uh, feeling like I'm constricted and gonna choke so that's good so uh it's nice to breathe it really is a blessing so we're going to finish my therapy watch and movie. um watch a movie and see how the rest of the day goes normally as the day gets later on i start to feel yucky so obviously we're still early on in the day so mm -hmm. hopefully um that doesn't happen and um we're hoping that this is the turnaround point so that would be really good, mm -hmm. right? Because usually the other nights you've been needing puffer. Extra albuterols, yeah. Ooh, my glasses. And then when you wake up, it's like... I can't breathe. You're tight. I was a little tight this morning, but when I started coughing... It was more like loose. A lot, a lot of mucus was coming out, so... I think that's... Hopefully everything is loosening up now. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, this may be my turnaround point where everything loosens. Usually have that. There's usually those, for me, those couple of hours where that tightness turns into loosening. And I think that may have been last night into this morning. So hopefully we've now reached that point. It's almost a week of IVs tomorrow will be a week. So I'm hoping we finally reach the point. So I'll give you guys an update later on. And, uh you know how the day goes. We're on our walk again. And look who we see, our friends. Hold this for me. Look who it is. They're right across the street. <laughs> our dear friends, if they come charging, then I don't know, maybe I'll go over that fence. Oh, that's so cool. Go that's in so the other cute. people's yards. Look, there's the other guy. Girl, rather. Right, zoom in I can't zoom anymore. They're zoomed in. Oh, come. Look, one, two. 969. Say again. 969. Here is his tail. on his head. Uh, beauty, beauty, this beauty. Yeah. I nicknamed her Beauty. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I'll eat a few leaves. Yeah. Pretty little tail in the wagon. Oh. Hi, right, look. They know us. Come on, smile for the camera. Yes, yeah, smile for the camera. Look over here. No, you don't want to look over here. They're a little scared, I think, the other ones. They went up that way. All right. Hi, yeah. Hi. I knew I'd get you to look over here. Yeah. You come across the street, I may scream, scream and run, but... Yeah, he likes to leave. Over here. And Rosario is over there. And he's dying to go say hello to them, but they... You could see they're going the other way. They don't want to be bothered with him. I think it's probably a bad idea to get that close to a deer. Look, there's four of them. Is that no? Was that they could have like God knows what they carry? Are you crazy? Oh God! No, you can't go over there. They don't want to be bothered with you. You don't have any deer food for them. Are you crazy? They're running from you. He tells me they're wagging their tails. They're running for the hills from him. Look. He starts charging at me. I have no idea. <laughs> if they charge at you, you're going to be running like Forrest Gump down the block. <laughs> and you better run quick with those slippers you got on there. Let me see your, your little flip-flops. Look, they're coming back now that you disappeared. Like you going to try and feed them a leaf? Yeah, that, they don't want to be bothered with you. Hey, technically, this is a bus stop. I think they could pick up their 
find their own leaves in the fall. They don't need your help to find the leaves, really. Are we serious here? I think I'm gonna keep walking on down this way. Oh, he's tagged, poor thing. And as he is, and you're gonna go follow him. At least bring him reindeer food. You Hello, guys. The electric <laughs> is out again. So I'm using my cell phone light. This is the second time this week that the electric has gone out. So we are sitting in the dark. Yep. It's a lot of fun. Make some shadows behind you with your hand. No. <laughs> it's not working. No, not working. My eyebrows plan. look interesting, but. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You see that? Mm hmm. Mm. Alright, don't waste the battery too much. Sure. I'm gonna have to go in the car. Okay. The bad thing about the electric going out, I know for the CF people, is that all our medications, well, certain ones are refrigerated and then also your and all my ivs right now medicine. are refrigerated so we got to keep the refrigerator closed yeah, and my stuff. nebulizers and my vest run on electric but we could always so, do for that, so we could always do manual for therapy obviously but um yeah if you're home alone and the electric goes out and you have nobody else there doing manual is not going to work out too well <clears throat> and um then I have to go in the car to use my uh, battery operated um, Evilizer, which isn't the worst thing, but it's getting the meds out of the fridge without everything yep. else getting hot. So hopefully electric comes back on. The other night it came on within like 40 minutes, so we don't know why it's out. And it's not like it's a hot day here. So hopefully, um, we may be the only ones with the air condition on as I was passing by walking, everyone else had their windows open, so mm. I don't know why the electric's out. It was our air condition that did it. Mm -hmm. It put the neighborhood over the edge, Imagine. and the electric went out. Just kidding. So we don't know why, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully we'll it comes see. on soon. Lights are back. Yay! But before we eat something quick, we're going to show you. The the light up lantern. It's got a little candle inside. <coughs> it looks pretty so cool. Cute. Yeah, well these these are all commissioned. They all had a little light. Watch your Shark Tank. And Jill's this chasing is the only her thing CGN. She has left of my dad. This is the only thing I have left of my dad. So this is basically everything for us. Would you have the same motivation to go on with sales of 30 I'll be very careful here. Sit up with this or? No, because I'm going to pin. This is only see. with me doing this part time. Mm. If I had a shark behind me with the market yeah, exposure, just, I, have a, I have no doubt. If you had here, if you want to take off the way you would expect it to, because you're still blocking a pathway that has to take place. Right, right. And so, wow, what you've accomplished is phenomenal. What your dad has accomplished. But at the same time, you're not, what do you just push? Oh no, I have to take the safety lock off. Now I squeeze, push the first one. That hurt. Mm -hmm. And I have to put that transmitter in. Have the sensor in. Put the transmitter. I cleaned it. Okay. Oh. All right, now that's in. Now we have a two-hour warm-up time. Happy Monday. It is afternoon IV time. So I'm doing that, and I'm having a slice of pizza. Nice thin crust. Um, we had that for dinner on actually Friday. <clears throat> so it's still good. Probably today's the last day. So I'm just going to finish up the last two slices we have left. And then um, when this is finished jump in the shower and I've been just doing some research on um, some of the new crystal stuff that I am ordering for our crystal business because with the holidays coming we're going to be doing some Christmas fairs and um, God willing and uh, we usually get pretty busy 
So just looking into some different ways to make it easier on our part and faster and uh, quicker for our customers. So with that being said, we ordered a few uh, new machines and stuff and um, we're excited about that. So I was just doing that this afternoon and um, with the mop, this is that I was having last night. I don't know if I told you guys, I held off of chest PT today. So um, I'll be doing one earlier. Um, oh, I'll be starting it earlier. My nighttime one. And uh, so I'll be doing a lighter one tonight. But I will be doing one. So uh, I'll be doing that, I guess, uh, at least a couple of hours. So, um, that's really it. I'm gonna finish my, uh, IV and eating and then jump in the shower and, uh, that's really it. And for those of you who are interested, yes, when the port is accessed, we can shower. We just have to cover it. There's a covering that goes all the way around and, um, still have to be very careful because it can get wet. So, um, I have my own system as to how to not get it wet. <laughs> so... That's really it. Hey guys, we went to Costco and now we have some yummy, excuse me, some yummy chicken from Costco. We had soup and yeah, turn it around. string beans. Yeah. And I'm going to show you guys something really funny that Rosario has on That's his plate. This I was about to eat my chicken. Dipping it. It looks like eyeballs in a mouth. Hello, guys. <laughs> Please don't eat me. I don't want to okay, be Okay, it's going in my mouth now. Goodbye! Relaxing, doing medicine. Just watching Jimmy Kimmel. And, um, that's about it.